Hey coaches, welcome to day seven of our Diamond in the Rough training. Today's topic I'm going to keep pretty brief because I think you're kind of getting the point of how you're going to start inviting people by now, what you're going to say, and different ways that you can say it. Um, so today's topic is going to be using our invitation scripts while you're out and about. And what I mean by out and about, I mean you can be with a group of friends, you can be at a coffee shop, um, you know, meeting new people. So you can use this with people you know or people that you don't know already. Um, so I have the five-step invitation guide open on my computer. So if you see me looking to the left or whichever way that looks for you guys, that's what I'm doing. Um, but usually what I do when I'm meeting people out and about is if it's a new person, I really just focus on making that initial connection. Um, think about while we're forming people and messages. We're asking them where they're from, you know, tell me about your family, stuff like that. Um, so I wouldn't, of course, go that detailed initially in person if it's like a quick, you know, meeting or whatever. Like, let's let's just think of an example. Okay, I'm in the line at Starbucks. I'm going to go get my skinny vanilla latte, whatever. So this lady that's standing next to me, like I decided to strike up a conversation with her. Um, and I usually just kind of look for something that I can compliment somebody on. Um, so, hey, like, you have really awesome boots. I love those. They're awesome. Boots are, like, my favorite thing about the season. You have great earrings. You have a great sweater. Whatever it is, just compliment someone. That's a really good way to break the ice. Um, making a comment about the weather. I break the ice all the time like that. Like, in the elevator at the apartments that I live in, people tend to not talk in elevators, but I'm like the weird one that always is trying to talk to people. So I'm like, yeah, how about this weather? Like, it's so cold. Oh my gosh, whatever. So those are really great ways to break the ice with people. And then, you know, as you're talking to them and getting to know them, you just want to focus on getting their contact information. You don't have to invite them immediately right out the gate. You just want to focus on staying connected with them because once you get them on Facebook, they're going to see all your posts and they're going to see you talking about your challenge groups. And they're going to be like, ooh, like look at all these great results these people keep talking about. I need something like this in my life. So kind of what I do, like when I was in Vegas at the Eric Warre conference, I met two people within like five minutes or less. Because I went into a coffee shop. I was talking to the lady that was working there. And I had met her a couple of times before that since we were there for the whole week. And I was just saying, you know, hey, girl, like, you're such a cool person. Like, I would just love to stay connected with you. I love making new friends. You know, it's been great talking to you while I've been here. Do you have Facebook? And then she went down and, like, wrote down her phone number and her email and her Facebook for me. And then right after that, I was, like, putting my Splenda in my coffee or whatever. And I met this other lady that was right next to me. And we just, I don't even remember what it was that we said to each other. But we just started talking and I said the same thing, like, I just love meeting new people. And, you know, I told her I was coming back out to Vegas. She mentioned um, that she lived in Vegas. So she's like, yeah, girl, like next time you come in town, hit me up. So we just ex exchange contact information. And then you can bring it online, inform someone, and then go right into the invitation process. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it, if you're actually using the five steps while you're talking to someone, this might be, you know, like with a family member, a friend, um, at your church, your somewhere that you take your kids, you know, just meeting people out and about. You want to follow the five-step invitation. Um, you know, if you're on the subject of fitness and, you know, they bring up that they want to lose a little bit of weight, just go into asking them the questions like, what are your goals for the next eight to 12 weeks or however long? Um, what do you feel like your struggles and your obstacles are? Just ask questions and get to dig deeper so that you can really know how you can help them because that's what we want to do. Our job is to act as a consultant, ask a lot of questions, and keep digging and digging and digging so that we can know the most about that person so we can tell them how our challenge group is going to help them achieve X, Y, and Z goals because it's all about them. It's not about our products. It's not about Shakeology. It's not about any of that. It's about them. If you can get to the point where you can present the challenge groups and the coaching opportunity to people in a way where they realize it's going to fit exactly what their goals and needs are, you're going to be recruiting people to join your team and you're going to be signing up customers left and right. That's exactly how you do it. And that's why over time, as you get better at this, you're going to get more and more coaches and more and more challengers. I cannot tell a challenge pack to save the life of me. 
up until probably the summer of this year. So that was a really long time of being a coach, barely being able to sell challenge packs. I was terrified, like I tell you guys all the time, to talk to people about coaching. I just had seven people, seven of you guys on the team joined in one week in December, November. I can't remember which month it was. So it's all about making it about our prospects. It's about making it fit their goals and needs. So that's why when you're out and about, you got to ask lots of questions, make them realize that, you know, hey, I actually have this awesome fitness group coming up. It's this really cool accountability and support group online where you're going to get that daily motivation. We're going to help you get the best results possible, and it's going to help you to lose 20 pounds and to feel better than you have in your life or whatever it is that they told you they are looking to do. Um, So, you know, I'm just scrolling through the five steps right now, but what you really want to do is just help guide them. Like I said, ask lots of questions, be a consultant, be professional about it, dig deeper if you need to, and then just help them pick the perfect program for them. You know, tell them, I can actually help you pick the program that's going to be perfect for your goals and kind of pick one for them and tell them why it would be good for them. Like, If someone, um, if you think T25 would be good for someone, well, you know, I have this challenge group, like I just told you that I'm hosting coming up and I think T25 would be the perfect program for you because I know you're a really busy mom. You're always on the go. You have so much going on and this is only a 25 minute workout. So you can easily get it in while your um, kids are at home and you know, you won't feel overwhelmed and it's really going to save you time. Um, So just describing the benefits of the challenge group, like I said, how it's going to help them fill a goal or a need that they have. Excuse me. So like I said, it's all about them. Make it about their goals and needs. And if you are able, in every conversation that you're having with someone, if you're able to make it about them and their goals and needs, you're going to be wildly successful. If you focus on the products and sending them all kinds of videos and word vomiting information all over them, you're not going to be successful at all because people are not inspired by products and programs and Shakeology and whatnot. People are inspired by knowing that you can help them achieve whatever goals they have. That is what is going to help you be wildly successful. So just keep all of these things in mind when you're out and about talking to people. It's just as simple as it as it is while we're talking online to people on Facebook. You just got to ask them lots of questions, follow the five-step process, and don't be afraid to invite them to your fitness group and to connect further on Facebook. So I hope this helps you guys and have a great day.